This is part two of how to set up Replay Radio 9 manually to record one of your favorite radio stations or shows. The first video I did on this topic showed how to set up Replay Radio 9 to automatically capture radio station streams that were downloadable. I'm now going to show you how to manually set up Replay Radio 9 to capture a radio stream that is only available via audio capture. The steps are very similar, I just want to walk you through them. And again, this is for the slightly advanced user. So I've got Replay Radio 9 open. First thing I need to do is find the URL of the station stream I want to capture. So I'm going to go ahead and open my browser. I'm on the iHeartRadio site. This station, 97.3 KBCO from Denver, is the station I'm interested in. And I want to actually go to the station's website. I don't want to stream it through the iHeartRadio site because I want to get the URL of the station's player. So here I'm going to click on View Website. It takes me to KBCO's website. I then click on to the Listen Live link. It brings up the player. This looks similar to the site I just was on. It's important that I have a iHeart stream that ends with the words autoplay equals true because then I know that when this URL gets activated within Replay Radio, it will play automatically. It won't require me to hit play. So I'm going to go ahead and click Control C for copy. Stop this stream. And go back to Replay Radio. I'm going to click on Add Show. I'm going to type in KBCO Denver 97.3. Click Control V for paste and put the URL there. I'm going to capture via audio output. By default, then will have me launch Intuner. I want to record every day at 11 a.m. for one hour. So I'm going to put 60 minutes in the duration here. At complete, I can choose to either close the program, close the tuner, or do nothing. I'm going to have it do nothing. And then I have to change the time zone to mountain time because KBCO is in Denver, which is a mountain time. You always want the time zone field to match where the source of your station is. And then I want to record Monday through Friday. I can choose to convert, for example, to my iPhone here, just like that, if I wanted to. I've decided I don't want to convert right now, but that option is available. And there are over 130 different formats available that you can automatically convert to just by setting it up right here. And then the other thing I want to point out on this page is there's an option here to mute the volume of the stream. So for example, say I wanted to record something at 3 o'clock in the morning. The great thing is you just check this box and Replay Radio will open. It'll play the stream, but I won't hear it, so it won't disturb me in the middle of the night. But my recording will come out just beautifully. So good thing to know about this feature here. Last thing I need to do is go to Tuning, paste that same URL into the URL field here, and change the player to tuner. All this is telling the program is that this is the stream I want to play when I choose to tune to the program and I want the stream to play in the tuner. So I click OK. KBCO Denver now has appeared under my schedule list in the user interface and you always want to test anything that you enter into Replay Radio 9 when, you, when you're entering something manually. So I just highlight it. I'm going to right click First thing I'm going to do is go to Tune to Station and make sure it'll play. And the stream is playing just beautifully, so I can go ahead and stop it. And now I want to make sure that it will record, so I'm going to right click and go to Start Recording. It asks me if I'm sure, and I say OK. It goes to the Recordings tab. It opens my tuner because, after all, it is recording via audio capture, so it actually has to play the stream in order to record it. But because I checked the mute while recording box on the schedule window, I'm not actually hearing the stream, but it is recording it for me. And just to prove that it's actually recording the audio, even though it's muted, I'm going to go ahead, right click, go to stop, close out the stream right click go to play 
and there's my recording. So now you see the steps involved in getting Replay Radio 9 set up to capture a stream via audio capture that you can't find in the guide. There are a lot of wonderful features in this program. I hope you enjoy checking it out.